Payment rails determine who participates in the economy. Here's how they really work. This is Stronghold 101. Think of payment rails like highways. More routes means more access. Better infrastructure means faster commerce. But most businesses only have access to a few roads, as some have none at all, and that exclusion costs the global economy trillions. Traditional rails serve their purpose well. Card networks enable global commerce. Banks provide trusted infrastructure. Swift connects international markets. But gaps persist everywhere. Some legal businesses can't access traditional banking. Cross-border payments take three to five days. Small transactions get priced out. Try sending $10 internationally. Watch fees eat $5 or more. Each rail has its strengths and its limitations. ACH is cheap but slow. Wires are reliable but expensive. Cards are convenient but costly for merchants. That's exactly why choice matters. Here's what parallel rails look like in practice. Traditional wire transfer to Singapore. Dozens in fees, multiple days. Stablecoin transfer on Stellar. Cents, minutes. Uh, same money moved, radically different experience. Instant payment networks already move trillions globally, and alternative rails handle billions of transactions monthly. The infrastructure is proven and running at scale. The challenge is just connecting it all. Modern infrastructure finally creates real options. Blockchain enables instant settlement pathways. APIs bridge old and new systems seamlessly, and competition drives costs down across the board. At Stronghold, we're rail agnostic. Connect to traditional networks, leverage emerging technologies, and let the smart routing choice be the best path. More rails mean more access, and more access means more opportunity for everyone. Subscribe to Stronghold for more on how payments really work.